I have not been going live lately because Zoe, our aromatherapist in-house, has kind of taken my spot for a little bit. Uh, but um, I have been getting a lot of requests i see that you guys want me to go back live i also wanted to introduce you with some of our amazing new products that we have launched and i am going to start with the new product launches and then you guys can keep asking me questions any which way on any aromatherapy products that we have and i'll be more than happy to answer you um, Number one is our lavender spray. It's live in Walmart in the pharmacy department. Why did we keep all our products in the pharmacy department to begin with was because all our essential oils are therapeutic. They are not your run of the mill essential oils that you buy in the home decor section because that lavender could be lavendine but our product is true lavender. So we only use Lavendula Augustifolia, which is the true lavender. Lavendine is one-fifth the cost. It smells like lavender, but it has camphor content, and it kind of is more aggravating than energizing. Uh, it's more energizing than relaxing. Now, I would use Lavendine if I had to maybe to kind of open my sinuses up in a shower, but I wouldn't use it to relax on my uh, as a spray on my pillow or something. I personally have been using this lavender spray uh, in on my pillow a lot lately, and I've also been using it in my car whenever I'm aggravated because I drive in Los Angeles, and it's four or five could kind of mess you up. Anybody, it's it's like at times I'm sitting there and. Lavender to the rescue. This is real lavender. Whenever you spray fragrances, they actually aggravate more of you because they are all toxins. Fragrances are chemicals. And when you're aggravated, you're, you want to really relax, you got to have the real lavender. And what better way to just shake it a little bit and spray a couple of spritz. Now, why do you shake? Because we decided not to put emulsifiers because what emulsifiers do is they mix the lavender with water and what happens then is then the emulsifiers do get the dispersion pretty good without the shake, but they're also again not natural. The emulsifiers are manufactured uh, synthetically. So to get this right, we made it very simple for you. Just shake it a little and spray it and enjoy the bliss. We keep our lavender extremely high content, so you'll smell a lot. And in case um, you believe that um, you're gonna, it is too much for you, you can store it in a different bottle, half of it, and add some more distilled water only and uh, make sure this is deionized water so it's very very clean uh, uh, we also have it in a citric acid base uh, which is natural uh, so and we add vitamin e so that basically it is a natural preservative system attached to it now uh, coming to the second item, we've launched it for the same price in Walmart as the rest of the essential oils that you buy. We also have one of them is lavender, uh, which I personally use for calming myself, um, maybe sleeping better. And I actually took it in the plane with me and I used it on my seat and my co-passenger was like, oh, is this lavender? I said, yes, do you mind? She said, no. So this is a good uh, kind of a conversational point of thing too. And it makes you relaxed while you're traveling. Um, the second thing, peppermint spray. Uh, we kept peppermint and lavender, uh, just two at this point because that's the only space we could get extra. Uh, but you could make your own. Uh, you know, you could buy a spray bottle, use a frankincense, because a lot of my friends, um, 
uh, a lot of my Hispanic friends especially, they uh, use the pep uh, uh, frankincense together with lemon and spray it all around their house. And it's somehow in the uh, Mexican culture where they believe that it will uh, purify their house. And this is a very big deal. So a lot of uh, my Hispanic friends, especially from Mexico origin, they actually use empty spray bottles, they put frankincense in it. Actually one of my friends, she just um, used this bottle, added frankincense to it, she's because she likes lavender, lavender and she added uh, frankincense to it and she purifies her house with that. Now we also um, have this new peppermint flavor, uh, not flavor, peppermint essential oil. So peppermint essential oil, uh, which is again, shake it and use it. Now why do you want peppermint? In my car if somebody puts some lunch box that has a little lunch and it's smelly, this would take off your udder like in minutes. So something that uh, to remind you of. But it also is a great um, energizing spray. I actually feel really energized and awake, especially if I'm coming from a late night dinner. Um, peppermint to the rescue keeps me awake and it, it is really energizing and people have been using it for whatever reasons please write down what what all reasons have you been using the peppermint spray for it's like your mini diffuser just in case because if you're feeling lazy you don't want to actually put a diffuser this is your mini diffuser handy that you can keep in your pocket it's only two ounce just shake it and use it. Now, we also have launched some ready-to-use products like um, the lavender roll-on. Now, why do you need a lavender roll-on? Just because you want to sleep better or you want to relax, you open it. It's already pre-mixed, pre-diluted with fractionated coconut oil. So, you can rub it on your temples, you can rub it around your carotid arteries, you can rub it all your pulse points and the most effective part is under your feet. That's where if I rub it under my feet and sleep, I sleep like really good. Not like a baby because babies probably don't sleep very good. This comes in a two pack. We've really kept it economical. It's a two pack. It looks like a one pack but it's actually a two pack because we had little space so we put it this way and when you open it uh, you'll see that we actually gave you a different option so we have these little roller balls in them so what you'll do is you'll actually take this bottle and you'll take this little thing that actually lets you open the bottle and when you open the bottle with this little thing up there you can then put the roll on and make it ready to use or you can use the lavender or peppermint oil according to the need wherever you want to use so it's a, like a two-in-one thing that we have made it up for you it helps us in a way that it helps us um, that there is no leakage issue because we had had some complaints in the past about leakage so this was more done to avoid any of such issues um, I would fix it later. In the meanwhile, I also want to uh, show you, so we have two pack of lavender and two pack of uh, peppermint that's ready to use. I also want to show you the third new, uh, the fifth new launch. So it's one, two, three, four, and the fifth new launch. And this is all in your Walmart stores in case you're buying from Walmart. And the fifth item that we've launched is immunity blend. And the immunity blend, apart from the Thrive blend or Duterra has a product called On Guard and uh, Young Living has a product called Thieves. Similar to that, uh, we used to have a product called uh, Thrive blend, but we've taken it a notch up and we have actually created a immunity blend. And we have added tea tree to it and we have done some study where um, tea tree addition has actually increased the spectrum of germ resistance with this product. So you actually feel more safe 
and feel more immune to the bad bacteria or the bad bugs lurking out there. So feel safer, feel more, most, more immune with the, the, the immunities product. Now this is pure oil, so make sure if you're going to use this as a spray, take an empty bottle, add this, add deionized or distilled water and don't since you don't probably have all the system to make it preserve so make sure you don't make too much of it and you just make enough that you can use so i i think uh, we have a question here melissa jackson wants to know what would you use for mid back pain mid back pain so uh, for mid back pain we have an amazing product called calming sleep Oh, sorry, uh, amazing product called Calm Muscle. And um, we'll see Zoe or Tatiana, can we have a Calm Muscle product that I can show Melissa here? Uh, so the Calm Muscle product has amazing ingredients like turmeric, it has wintergreen. Wintergreen is, uh, do you know what is winter, wintergreen? Is basically salicylic uh, acid. Uh, is the main content of wintergreen and uh, it actually helps absorb into the skin very quickly and uh, wintergreen helps mitigate the pain because it goes and binds itself to the pain receptors turmeric has been known as an anti-inflammatory product we this is our product it's called calming sleep it's available in walmart uh, stores and now I want to tell you guys that we will soon be available in Walgreens as well in the main pharmacy department. So this Calming Sleep also has other amazing products like uh, Black, oh sorry, I keep saying Calming Sleep, Calming Calm Muscle has other amazing products like Nutmeg. Nutmeg is actually been traditionally been used in Thailand for generations for pain control in muscles. And then uh, eucalyptus, eucalyptus everybody knows actually, eucalyptus has high content of eucalyptol that goes and lets our muscles breathe better, brings the blood flow to the muscle and has been used traditionally uh, between eucalyptus and wintergreen they've been used in bombs like tiger bomb or similar kind of uh, pain bombs that you see in the market and then ginger uh, ginger is again a big anti-inflammatory and uh, black pepper black pepper kind of makes the whole thing work faster it's a catalyst and then peppermint uh, again uh, amazing analgesic so this is, these are the contents of calm muscle a lot of people nowadays are buying pure CBD oil um, and pure CBD oil, because, why? Because a lot of hocus pocus people are coming and they are adding very little CBD and a lot of coconut oil. So instead of that, I would do a DIY. I would take pure CBD oil from whatever resource you could get it. I, I don't want to say about it because it's still, CBD is kind of forbidden in a lot of states. Um, and I'm talking to the whole world. So if you want to really add boost to it, you could try pure CBD oil, add calm muscle oil and fractionated coconut oil and do your own DIY. That would make even a stronger blend for pain relief for a lot of people. You can also use this as your main uh, concentrate ingredient. Let's say if you had a, a cold cream in your house, you take a little bit of cold cream, add a few drops of calm muscle, mix it really well, well with your own hand and apply it wherever you want. Now you've got a tiger bomb or a emu coil bomb or whatever there is with a lot of chemicals or whatever they have. Instead of that, you, you, you made your own. So this is your way. You can use your own cold cream and convert it into an analgesic cream um, with real true essential oils. So that's what I do personally at home for my back pain. Now, uh, obviously for back pain, personally I do get it too because I, I have a sitting job quite a bit. So I have actually gotten a little flipper. So what I do is I actually, it's, it's available on Amazon for like $120. And I uh, go on that and I flip my whole body 
for about seven to ten minutes every day and it's almost like uh, uh, the hand sta headstand uh, that you do in yoga so it's it's a really amazing uh, thing that has helped me with big back pain personally yes please Vicky wants to know what do you recommend for allergies allergies I would tell you I was on Allerid um, Allegra or citrazine dihydrochloride which is the main component for four years my best friend is UCI's top allergologist he is like the guy and his daughter now is now working in Mayo Clinic top allergologist and I can tell you this from personal experience they couldn't help me what helped me almost where from three years of taking uh, Claritin every single day, either Claritin or Allegra, every single day I've gone to zero for last two and a half years. What is the reason? I have an amazing, amazing product. I don't know if we still have it on our website or not, Tatiana. Can you show me the Oragno oil? So we have something called Oragno oil that is very high content in Carvacrol. I actually was, this is true story, I personally was in Greece. I was like, I used to get up and sneeze like 150 times a day until I had my Claritin. And I was in Greece at this distillery and I had forgotten my Allegra um, in uh, Bulgaria. I had forgotten it in the hotel. And when I reached Greece, I didn't have it and I was in a bad shape. And this gentleman who was in Greece, he came with his dad and he wanted to uh, pick me up for dinner and I was like literally dying and he said what happened his dad said hey son come over I want to give you something I said what is it I till that time this is like three years ago was not a big fan of in ingesting essential oils so at that time he, he gave me a this oregano oil uh, that I actually took one drop in a big bottle, shook it really well. This was, this was like 16 ounces of water, EVI in bottle. I put like a drop of it in one drop only and shook it really well and drank the whole thing. I was very skeptical. He says, just do it. Next day morning, he gave me one more drop at the breakfast time, after breakfast, another drop in the evening. And believe me or not, I did not, he did not come to us for dinner. The day after when I woke up, zero sneezing. I have never taken one more Claritin in my life. A lot of the allergy according to me comes from the gut. And I would tell you, this is where everything actually gets originated, your gut. A lot of people have SIBO, small intestine bacterial overgrowth. and. Oregano oil is the favorite go-to by a lot of natural uh, remedy, uh, natural naturopaths as well. So you'll see a lot of data on it if you Google. But the key is to finding real, pure, and good quality oil. I promise you, every drop of this oil in the uh, Guru Nanda brand is 100% tested by me personally. So I promise you, every drop is pure and natural. Uh, any other questions that anybody has till now? Uh, Tara Ortega wants to know, what essential oil does Guru add to hot water in replacement of coffee? Oh, it's the uh, once in a while I'll put a drop of oregano oil or my second go-to oil if I'm having some digestive issues is peppermint oil. So I'll take a drop of peppermint oil. Let's say um, I went to this place called Din Tai Fung. It's a phenomenal Taiwanese dumpling place um, and I ended up eating stuff that I normally never would eat. And I would tell you I was like I loved the food. I will give it five stars, but I overate it. And uh, at the end, they had a big uh, dumpling with sesame uh, mix in it. It was like delicious. I said, bring me one more. And after that, I was feeling upset. I go home. Um, I have a digestive blend in the exotic range. I didn't find it in the at the house, so peppermint is something I don't live without. I took a drop of peppermint, uh, put a couple of drops of olive oil in it, shook it in a lot of water, drank it within like, I would say less than five or seven minutes. I felt like a million bucks. I didn't feel anything. I just went for a little walk, 500 steps, and I was like as normal. I would tell you it's the best 
antacid that works for me is peppermint oil one drop in a few drops of olive oil shake it in water and rinse it or uh, take it in hot water and uh, sip it and you'll feel energized and you'll feel like elated too you'll feel really good um, I suggest uh, uh, for me today morning I drank the oregano oil though it was that my replacement to coffee so that's why probably Tatiana wrote that all right thank you Tara um, we'll take one final question from Joy she wants to know is the spray dangerous and when will it be in Walmart which is dangerous is the spray dangerous this spray it's already in Walmart uh, and it's not dangerous um, unless you spray it in your eyes it's not dangerous I promise you it's uh, unless you're very allergic to peppermint or lavender uh, it's not dangerous why would it be dangerous it's it's pure plant material lavender is a god it's not poison ivy La it's lavender oil pure lavender oil it's lavendula agostifolia which comes from Bulgaria and we are actually doing your work you could do it a DIY you could buy the lavender oil put some distilled water in a spray bottle enough so that you don't need you only need it for a week you can make your own you can buy this bottle for like uh, 50 cents on Amazon or Walmart uh, stores in the travel section you could make your own for any any essential oil I actually um, as I told earlier I've, I've, I've a lot of my friends who are Hispanic they are making it with frankincense to purify their homes uh, I have one friend of mine she actually adds tea tree and lemon and uses uh, uses it on her kitchen counter and uses that as a cleaner instead of using all the chemical company products that are available for kitchen counter um, that's a amazing product tea tree a uh, little bit tea tree don't overkill on tea tree I would say one drop of tea tree and maybe 10 drops of lemon and wa distilled water shake it use it in a spray bottle for your kitchen cleaning uh, counter counter cleaning of your kitchen and stuff like that because whenever you spray chemicals on your kitchen counter and now you're uh, doing some vegetable cutting or whatever you're doing you're actually somehow getting all that chemical effect finally in your body entering your body as toxins you don't want that so try using this these are very safe uh, for 99.99 percent of the people but there's always that 0.001 percent that's allergic to anything in the world so make sure you're not that uh, you can do a try test you can put it on your skin see it or you can put it on your clothes see it um, it's as safe as you can get I don't care this is as safe as anything possible so uh, in in terms of one more product that's actually doing extremely well that I do want to introduce you it's in the air care section at Walmart it's our spearmint patchouli spray it's like on fire instead of using a chemically based air freshener which may be cheaper but it's also bad for you at times make sure you try this out it's it's my favorite it's uh, it works like upside down it has zero C uh, uh, the gases the petroleum based gases so it's actually works on real gas a uh, real air it's air powered there is little air here that's been compressed so it actually uh, uses that to actually propel the product it's grain alcohol water and essential oils try that it's you can double use it as a uh, anything like to clean your air use it in the car whatever or your body spray if you like pep spearmint I used to like spearmint Wrigley so maybe uh, this is the real spearmint the real grass spearmint so try that out and any other questions I'll be more than happy to answer actually I have no problem Okay, yeah, we have one more question from Shamima Kasim. She wants to know what oils are good for headaches. So Shamima, uh, peppermint. Uh, 
dilute your peppermint oil um, for a headache it's the most analgesic potent oil but for me I get a lot of headaches uh, I have um, inherited them because my mom used to get a lot of migraines and um, I would say uh, what I do the best headache formula is uh, take about 10 drops of peppermint oil take about six drops of lavender oil and take about four drops of eucalyptus oil and I'll, I'll tell you one more so why each one so spearmint oh sorry peppermint is for the analgesic effect lavender is for the relaxing effect because whenever you have headache your muscles get to tend to get very tense and that's when you get really uh, tense muscles so lavender would relax you the Peppermint would be analgesic because it has high content of menthol in it. And the third one is eucalyptus. A lot of people get headaches because their sinuses are blocked. So eucalyptus will kind of release your sinuses. So it would help you with uh, sinus release. So it, your uh, flow of your saliva into your sinuses will kind of open up and you'll feel better. Now, uh, for certain people, if they can afford it, there is a oil. I don't know if we now carry it on our website. It's called Helichrysum. It's Helichrysum is also a very big anti-inflammatory. Or there's another oil in exotics we used to carry. It didn't sell much. It's marjoram. Some, it's a very uh, marjoram is an antispasmodic. So if people are getting spasms in their neck, uh, you know, marjoram is of great great help as well. But I would say stick to the top three peppermint, lavender, and eucalyptus, and you're good to go. And add, never, f don't forget, never have your essential oils be ever more than, let's say, one by 20th part of the carrier oil, because these are very, very potent. These essential oils are like, imagine one acre, one acre of peppermint field would only get you about 70 pounds of peppermint. Only 70 pounds. Or, so you have to be very careful. 28 cups of peppermint tea is equal to one drop of peppermint oil. It's very, very concentrated. So always dilute it before you put it on your skin. Always dilute it. Always. It's the key and rule number one. That never do anything without dilution. Um, yes, go ahead. Because we, we sell them pure, you can go buy uh, food from a fast food restaurant or you can make it at home. I would suggest you make it at home if you want to stay healthy. If you're going to buy something that's pre-diluted, it's great, but you don't know what they are putting in. Now you're buying 100% pure essential oils. Then I give it to you and you actually have a GCMS report that's available online or on request from Zoe who's our contact at gurunanda.com she'll be immediately be happy to send it to you I promise I do not let even one drop of oil enter the premises until and unless it's verified by me on a GC I promise I go to all these fields every year during the harvest time to personally inspect that I'm getting the true and natural pure material for you. Nobody does what I'm doing today except Deterra and a couple of people at Young Living, but I have do not know of any other retail company that is doing what we are doing. As a CEO, I personally take it very, very, very seriously and I do it myself for you so that I bring to you my reputation. Guru Nanda is my last name is Nanda. I bring my reputation to you. I bring my family name to you. I put my family name on every bottle so that you are sure that whatever you're getting is pure and natural. So any other questions? That's all we have for now. Thank you so much. It was great uh, meeting you. Namaste. And I hope uh, you stay healthy. Do some yoga every day. Breathe a lot every day. I actually do five things in breathing. I'm going to tell you what all very quickly before I go. And then drink a lot of water. Uh, three liters is what I drink and uh, make sure you're eating a lot of greens um, and make sure you don't eat late at night stay healthy and uh, the five um, 
different breathing exercises that I do I'll do them very quick so one of them is for my chest so because whenever you're doing yoga you're actually taking care of your outside body but for an inside body that's my chest um, um, breathing then for the stomach I actually do that's my stomach breathing for my brain I do for my brain and to balance my body I actually inhale from one side and exhale from another and to keep myself calm I do also belly breathing which is belly goes out belly goes in so try these five and be healthy. Namaste.